Hello to all our light workers that are coming on to the on to Zoom right now, and for those light workers on Facebook, uh, some of you will be looking at this live, and so welcome. I'm glad that you are here at the divinely appointed time for that to happen. But most of you are going to receive it at the divinely appointed time for you, meaning it will not currently be live, but still hold the same energetics. Our words have great power. And so what you want to remember is that words uh, is an energetic and it absolutely influences. And so do thoughts, um, uh, energy follows thoughts. So we always want to be mindful of our thoughts and our words, which therefore will also impact our actions, and that we want to keep it on the highest vibration as we can, which comes from a place of unconditional love. As you see, the masters who have come before us that have actually work, walked on the earth uh, are prime examples of that. Uh, you can see some of the pictures behind me in a slightly different uh, a different angle, so you could see uh, some new scenery. So um, first of all, I would like to uh, invite everybody that um, would like to be part of this and uh, of the Anchoring Light transmission. Uh, it is a transmission, transmission meditation, uh, meaning that uh, the higher celestial realms of light, energy, uh, codes, uh, radiant ones. Uh, there's a whole uh, prolifera of the Amishadai or the family of light that come in and join us, uh, merging their energy with ours. So it's like a divine singularity. And then we uh, experience what it is we're going to experience. It depends on who shows up because uh, we all contribute towards this and um, it unfolds. So sometimes we go through very powerful initiations ourselves personally. Uh, most of the times is where we are serving energetically for our planet and beyond our planet too, way beyond our planet. We uh, work um, on the solar system level and we have also worked on the galactic level. And um, uh, pretty much, I would say, once or twice beyond that. But anyway, we uh, work in the uh, much higher frequencies or densities that do exist simultaneously as our experience here in this physical, mental, and emotional world. So if you would ever like to join the meditation itself, which is on the Zoom platform, simply look at our Facebook page, the Cosmic Center Spiritual Light Facebook page, and find the Anchoring Light Transmission Meditation with Baba Sharon. That's me. That's my spiritual name. And you will get a register, and then you'll get a weekly link, uh, a weekly reminder that you can participate every week. We have a lot of new people uh, who have gotten hold of this video and are jumping on board and bringing in their awesome light uh, to the experience. And so it's just a wonderful, evolving, positive, and powerful thing to do to serve, you know, in your highest capacity. Uh, so um, that's pretty awesome. But right now, uh, I want to switch now to the topic that we're going to talk about, which is uh, laughter, uh, joy, and bliss. Hey, couldn't we all do with some laughter, joy, and bliss at this particular time? Uh, I do think so. So, um, and uh, so one of the things I'll, I'll just actually how this all came, I was thinking, well, what are we going to talk about? Uh, in our little chat, and then uh, Karen is here, and uh, she had mentioned that uh, you know laughter kind of clears out the lungs and all the and, and all the stale air because when you really laugh and that deep gut laughing. Uh, for myself personally, uh, I go to comedy clubs. I go all the time. That's my personal therapy. Always has been. Uh, I enjoy uh, laughter. The comedy, you know, uh, brings that part of you. And and so what we're talking about is that. And you know, sometimes absolutely, it's like I don't see anything to laugh about. You know, things can be 
you know, very depressive, unhappy, uh, low, low energy. And oh my gosh, does that absolutely exist? Yes, it does. And so how would you kind of get yourself out of that state? How would you want to um, get into a vibration of laughter, uh, smiling, um, uh, you know, happiness and joy, and ultimately bliss uh, when you're in that state? You know, how, how do you do that? Well, first of all, you want to start with the intention. Okay, because that's really important. And I want to just tell, share a story with you really quick. Um, this was a couple of years ago and it was on a Monday and I had to get ready to go to the anchoring light, you know, and it was just one of those days and times where I was just like tired and kind of down and depressed. Okay, and everybody's entitled to depress, but you know, you want to not stay depressed. That's the whole point. It's like, okay, <laughs> you had a day of depression, chop, chop. And not to make light of it, it could be much more than that. And I do understand that. Well, let's just start off with the intention of, I don't want to be depressed. Uh, I want to find joy and happiness in my life. I don't care what's going on in the world around me. I know that I have a certain control over my own energetics. And I'm going to pray for divine intervention. I just want to remind everybody, we forget that we are in this world of choice and this duality world. And so it does require us to ask. And we keep on forgetting that. Now, I ask all the time. I ask all the time. It's just I have like, you know, the, the, the red buzzer <laughs> to the ascended realms. I'm always bzz, 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 divine intervention, divine intervention, please. It's just integrated into my life. And we get into the habit of saying, I need divine intervention. Please come in on my behalf. Please guide me. Or listen, you handle it and I'll just follow the spiritual breadcrumbs and just tell me what to do. That's my most favorite one. And what you will find, and even this also goes, for example, I've heard people say, you know, uh, I can't forgive. I, I know forgiveness is important, but I cannot find it in myself to forgive a particular situation or a person. Guess what? You call for divine intervention. We don't have to do any of this by ourselves. We are surrounded and uplifted by what is known as the Amishadai or the family of light on other realms and there are some angels and we can serve as an angel okay walking on the physical plane too okay so the example i wanted to tell you was at this particular time and i was getting ready to go to the anchoring light and it was just i had i was not motivated and you know i was just down that's it i was depressed i was down there was nothing to smile about so i got a transmission in my head you know, a thought that said, um, remember your joy, just as clear as day. And I said, I don't know if I can remember my joy. That was my response to that. I knew it came from the higher realms. And that was my response back. I do believe it came from the Actorians, my buddies, and they are here for all of us. And uh, what ended up happening is I got myself together. Of course, I am going to show up for the anchoring light no matter what. And for no reason at all, when I walked in, the people that were there just decided that when I walked in, they would all say, surprise, and everybody was smiling and laughing. And I just remember like having to laugh and smile and being blissful just by the fact that people random at the kindness just decided to say hi, surprise and smile. Of course, I know that was happening. <laughs> On other, on other uh, points, somebody on the higher realms put that thought in somebody's head, say, hey, why don't we just do this for Sharon Elizabeth or Baba Sharon when she walks in, not having a clue as to what I was feeling just minutes, you know, before uh, how I was feeling. And so I just want to emphasize that no matter where you may find yourself and all of us experience those doubts. They experience those fears, those concerns. You know, you look at the world of energy brings you down. You may fall into fear. You may fall into depression and just really not joyful at all and very serious. 
Okay, I know that serious part because we we're here, we have a job to do. And so there is that level of being serious and focused on what we're doing. But at least as the Ectorians say, don't forget your joy. Don't forget that. That's so important. And so if you have to take yourself to a comedy club or you have to get a group of people say, hey, let's just do some jokes or you get involved in a web that deals with jokes, you know, or whatever it is that you need to do or be around somebody that brings you a lot of joy and laughter, or you be that person uh, to bring joy and laughter, you know, whichever way you can. There's a thousand different creative ways of doing this. Find one that works for you and remember your joy. Even as we do this important work on the planet, even as we're going through this ascension process, even as things you know, are coming to a, a high accumulation, and we know that there's going to be a new earth, no matter the journey is going to happen, but guess what? When you keep joy and laughter and ideally bliss in your energetic field, you're gonna maneuver through everything much, much easier. Why? Because it's raising your vibration, okay? And to the, all those things that raise your vibration, okay? I mentioned to somebody, it's the oil, I hope the energy doesn't bring people down in a particular environment they were talking about. I said, oh, well, we come in, we change that. <laughs> we are the light when we walk in. So no matter what the environment is, Okay, when you do those things that keep your energy up, keep yourself positive, keep smiling, okay, that is just going to raise, and we have a beautiful Ashley, she smiles all the time, no matter, just automatically raises the energy, and guess who's smiling with you? who's smiling with you is the Amisha Dai, the family of light, the ascended masters, the radiant ones, the angelic realm, they're smiling too. So with that, our beautiful family, I'll leave you with this smile. Okay, when you smile, remember that you radiate your light. And even if you don't feel like it, as again, call the Amisha Dai, your family of light, say, I need to get back into my joy. I need to remember what it's like to be lighthearted and happy. What should I do? And the answers will come to you. I promise. So with that, I'm going to say namaste to our beautiful family of light on Facebook. And by the way, if you should ever say, gee, I'd like I missed the anchoring light. I would like to listen to it. Go on our YouTube channel. And you will find all of our videos there now. Before we were so certain ones went on. Now they're all going on. They're all going on. So you will be able to find this video and all the other videos we have done. The energy is as powerful as life. Okay. Namaste.